Get this video to 1,000 likes and I'll be giving away the Nintendo Switch to one of you guys. Are ready? What is going on guys? Today I am back. My name is Cage and it has been a while since I've been in front of the camera so I kind of forgot what I'm doing. But I've been filming a little bit over the past few months. I just haven't made it into a full video. So I guess today I'm just going to combine a bunch of stuff that's happened into one video. And I hope you guys enjoy. We're going to jump all the way back to December of 2020, which I know was a while ago. I got a message on one of my videos and it was from this guy who was saying that he lost his job due to COVID and he couldn't afford to get his nine-year-old daughter a Christmas gift. So obviously I was like, that's not okay. I'm going to make this happen for her. So I messaged him on Instagram and we were talking a little bit and I figured out that his daughter wanted a Nintendo Switch for Christmas and so obviously I was gonna make that happen for her and we were planning like a whole video around it. It was gonna be awesome. All right guys, so we made it to Best Buy now and I've been looking around. I think I know where we're trying to go. We're trying to go somewhere over there. They only have one color left. It's in yellow, I believe. I just looked online before we came here and yeah, so we're gonna go pick it up right now. I think here, follow me over here. I think it's over. Yeah, so see it's right down there. I think we have to get someone to open the case for us. So let me go find someone. Got it. Okay. okay, so we just picked it up finally, and uh, you guys can see, it's the yellow version, it's the light version, and uh, yeah, I guess it's the one we wanted, so uh, I guess, I guess gotta, let's head home right now, we're going to wrap this up, and then we are going to deliver this to the girl on, I believe, Tuesday, so we've got a few days, but uh, yeah. Let's go. But then I jumped on a FaceTime call with him a few days later and I found out some pretty bad news. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, man? Good. I was just getting back from Providence. That's why I messaged you at like 4 30 in the morning. Yeah, yeah. And she's just, I don't know what medicine they gave her, but she's just literally been, she's just been over here assed out the whole time. You do some really cool stuff for a lot of people. Man. Thank you, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, just as soon as you get the results back, let me know. And, you know, crossing our fingers, it's negative, obviously. Yeah, let me know, and I'll talk to you later, man. Thanks so much, Yeah, Thanks for, for sure. talking to you, man. Yeah, see ya. Okay, so you guys can pause if you want to, but basically the next day he texted me, letting me know that the tests were positive and she did in fact have COVID which obviously sucks really, really bad. And as you guys can see, I was messaging him like at least once a week for the next month, asking if everything was okay, asking if, you know, she's doing better. And I never got a response after that, still to this day, halfway through March, I still have not heard from this guy. So yeah, um, I, I don't know what happened. Hopefully everything's okay, but yeah. So yeah, you heard that right. His nine-year-old daughter has COVID-19 or had COVID-19. I actually don't know the situation and what's going on right now. So at this point, I had already gone to Best Buy. I already got the Switch. Everything was planned. We had a date set. I was going to go there. We're going to film a whole video together and like, you know, whatever. And it was going to be great. But because his daughter had COVID, obviously I wasn't going to be going anywhere near them. I didn't want to put myself in danger of getting COVID because obviously that would just be stupid. So the plan was to wait a few weeks and then obviously still be wearing masks and stuff when we were going to be meeting. But I never heard back from him. It has been still, it is like, what is it, like March 3rd? I think that it's March 3rd and I still have not heard back from him. At least once a week throughout the month of January, I was texting this guy asking if his daughter was okay, asking if, you know, everything's going good. And I never got a response. I got ghosted by a guy. I mean, I'm, I'm used to getting ghosted by girls literally all the time, but by a guy, it did kind of hurt. I'm going to be honest, it did kind of hurt. So unfortunately, his daughter was never able to get the gift. I was just never able to see them. I still haven't heard back from them to this day. It's been months later. So. Uh, that brings us to here. I'm going to be giving away to one of you guys. If this video reaches 1,000 likes, I'm going to be doing a giveaway and picking someone from the comments of this video to give the Nintendo Switch to because I don't want it. I'm not going to use it and most of my friends already have one. So I'm going to give it away to you because the support recently has been absolutely insane. We hit 3,000 subscribers very shortly after we hit 2,000 and we're already on 4,000 and I'm getting close to 5,000 now, which is absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much. It's crazy. Even though I haven't been uploading, you guys have still been watching my older videos, which is kind of the only thing you can do because I've been a really YouTuber. I apologize. Um, we're we're going to try to get on that, but I'm not going to say, I'm not going to make any promises because then I'm going to fail and I'm going to feel bad about myself. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, if you guys want to win a Nintendo Switch, then comment why you want it, I guess, and I'll be picking someone if this video hits a thousand likes. If it doesn't, um, you know. Then I'm going to give it away anyway. If it doesn't get a thousand likes, I'm keeping it. And you guys, I'm going to film a video of me playing with it, and you guys can watch me have fun with it because you guys missed out because the video didn't get a thousand likes. What, what else has been going on? Um, test drove the test. Oh, the Tesla, that's right. All right, so the other day I went to test drive a Tesla. 
for the first time. This was crazy. I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've been in the market for a new car. So I went to test drive a Tesla Model 3, the 2021 version, and it was absolutely insane. I loved it. Like this car, I mean, this was everything I've ever wanted in a car. And then the ramifications. So, uh, blinkers here. Yep. The wipers are automatic. All right, and after a very long and boring description of the entire car, we were finally ready to drive it. Ready? Okay, first of all, that's what she said. Second of all, it wasn't as fast as it probably could have been because I forgot to put it in ludicrous mode. I don't know why, I just completely forgot that it existed. It was super fast, it was super clean looking, it was super fun to drive, like just everything was amazing. I called Lady at Tesla, I'm like, yo, I'm trying to drive a car tomorrow, and she's like, bet. And I was there at noon the next day driving one of their brand new cars, which was absolutely insane. I didn't think I was gonna be able to drive one that soon or at all, but uh, yeah, I did. And we got to test out how fast it went. We did a quick zero to 60 on some back roads. It was super fun, super fast. I don't think I put it in, what is it, ludicrous mode? Does the Model 3 have ludicrous mode? I think it probably does, but I forgot about that. So it could have been a lot faster, but uh, for legal reasons, we were going the exact speed limit. Nothing over, nothing under, but for entertainment purposes, we were going really fast. <laughs> Obviously I had people in the car. My dad was in the back seat. I wasn't about to go like anything over a hundred. When I first got there, I had to sign some paperwork basically saying if I crashed the car or killed myself, uh, they wouldn't be responsible, which were two very high possibilities. <laughs> okay, so we're on the way back right now, but I wanted to test out some of the self-driving features. So right now it looks like cruise control will not break. Okay, so I guess I have to break still, but it's keeping me in between the lines, which even my car does now, but I mean, I guess I don't have to drive. I don't know. My hands are on the wheel. They probably should be. Uh, this isn't like the full like self-driving car model. Uh, so like my foot's still on the gas right now. What, what happens? Is it going to drive still? Apply slight force to steering wheel. Yeah, so I do. Same as my car, I do have to like touch the steering wheel to show that I am driving. But my foot's off the gas right now. It's driving for me. This is kind of cool. I mean, it's like... I'm not driving right now. So I was driving at like 90 miles an hour and it felt like I was going 55 just because of how smooth the car was. So I am going to be looking at getting this car. I haven't bought it yet. I, uh, I'm i not really sure what I'm going to be doing. I might wait a little bit. My car is still, it's still cool. I mean, it's a 2017, so it's, it's a few years old, but you know, it, it's all right. Yeah, if you guys want to see me get a Tesla, then let me know in the comments. There's a ton of cool videos I want to film with this car. Let me know if you guys have any ideas, if you want to see like an overnight challenge or like a race with another car. Um, I have a few friends that have some really fast cars. So if you want to see me race them in my Tesla, let me know if you guys want to see that in the first place, but I do have a lot of cool plans. Isn't street racing illegal? If you guys have any ideas on videos you would want to see with the Tesla, assuming I do get it, then let me know in the comments down below. And like I said, get this video to 1000 likes and I'll be giving away the Nintendo Switch to one of you guys in the comment section below. And his Tesla, he'll be giving Away and my left. Tesla, yeah, I'm actually gonna be getting it. I'm actually gonna be getting a $45,000 car and giving it away because I just feel like it. That was a joke, obviously. I I, I can barely afford this car myself, never mind, give it away to someone. So, yeah, it's love. Tesla. That's right. The Tesla's so quiet, but it's so fast, it's so weird. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, um, I can get back into filming some regular videos because I really did miss it. It's been a while. Hopefully, I'm at a point in my life right now where I can actually focus on YouTube again because for a while, I was, I was, I was busy and I'm not busy anymore. Um, <laughs> if, if you guys know, you know. Don't hit me up, only the real ones know. <laughs> I'm actually gonna be going to Arizona in like two weeks, getting another tattoo, hanging out with my friend Ernie, and uh, we'll probably film a video there. He's got more cool cars since the last time I went there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be getting a tattoo. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. You guys could probably guess it. I was, I've been wanting to get this tattoo for a while, but uh, anyway. That's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I gotta go edit this video now. Don't real YouTubers have editors on them? Hey, hey, chill. I do everything. Hey, I, no, you don't own me. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Can I end the video? I forgot how to do this. No! <laughs> you don't own me. I'm driving a Tesla right now. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> totally fat.